It is very enlightening and touching to me to consider how Jesus talks to his Father in his great intercessory prayer, which is found in the Bible in the book of John. It is unmistakably clear that Jesus acknowledges he is the Son. Listen to his words as he reports the obedient completion of his earthly mission to his Father in heaven. I have glorified thee on earth. I have finished the work thou gavest me to do. I have given unto them, the disciples, the words which thou gavest me, and they have believed that thou didst send me. As thou hast sent me into the world, even so I have sent them into the world. And the glory which thou gavest me, I have given them, that they may be one even as we are one. Through the course of the Savior's ministry, the disciples did indeed become one, but not in physical bodies. They became one in unity of purpose and love. This is the oneness of God the Father and His Son, Jesus Christ, spoken of in the Scriptures. They, too, are distinct beings, but they are united in purpose, in their love for us, in the work that they are doing on our behalf. The Savior continued to pray, O Father, glorify thou me with the glory which I had with thee before the world was, that the world may know that thou hast sent me and hast loved them as thou hast loved me. For thou lovest me before the foundation of the world. Oh, how Jesus wanted us to know the Father. As he did, he prayed. O oh, righteous Father, the world hath not known thee, but I have known thee. And these the disciples have known that thou hast sent me. And I have declared unto them thy name, and will declare it that the love wherewith thou hast loved me may be in them and I in them. Jesus showed his great love for those who chose to follow him as he prayed for their protection. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou should keep them from evil. He was praying for us, brothers and sisters. And then our Savior tenderly asked that they, meaning us, may be with him again. Father, that they also whom thou hast given me be with me where I am, in preparation for the atoning sacrifice, Jesus prayed to his Father in the Garden of Gethsemane as he took upon himself the sins, sorrows, and sufferings of all mankind. In those hours, alone, he made it clear that he was not performing his own work. He prayed, Father, if it be possible, let this cup pass from me. Nevertheless, not what I will, but thou wilt. In this most crucial moment, for him and for all of us, he was not talking to himself or relying on his own strength. He was calling upon his Father, God Omnipotent, to sustain him, to allow him to do his Father's will. And his Father sent an angel from heaven, strengthening him. I so love the love that the Father has for His Son and for all of us. From the foundation of the world to the final moments of the cross, the Savior had been about His Father's business. He completed the work He'd been sent to do. Therefore, we do not wonder whom He was talking when upon the cross He said, It is finished, and cried with a loud voice, Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. And having said thus, he gave up the ghost. He knew he was praying to his heavenly Father. I testify that our Savior lives. He is the only begotten of the Father, and he will come again on this earth to reign. He is Jesus Christ, the Holy One of Israel, 
full of grace and mercy and truth. It is he that cometh to take away the sins of the world, yea, the sins of every man who steadfastly believed on his name. He is the literal Son of God, who rose from the dead on the third day, bringing the reality of the resurrection to all who will come to earth. I also testify that God, our eternal Father, lives and loves each of us, for we are his children. So great is his love that he sent his only begotten Son into the world, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have eternal and everlasting life. As an apostle of the Lord Jesus Christ, I testify of the truth of what is in the scriptures and what has been told to me and will be told to you by the Holy Spirit. It will be revealed according to your obedience and to your desires. The Savior taught us during his mortal ministry the great truth that applies to all of us. Whatsoever ye shall ask the Father in my name, which is right, believing that ye shall receive, behold, it shall be given unto you. I testify that I do know these things, and I know them with this surety, that these things which I have spoken of are true, that you may seek for that same surety in your heart and in your prayers is my prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen.